Warning, the following episode of Orsini's Uncensored Mind contains explicit language and adult content. The thoughts and opinions stated on the show are reflective of A.J. Orsini and his guests exclusively. But seriously, guys, the show's called Uncensored. If you got a problem with bad language, I really don't give a shit. Welcome to Orsini's Uncensored Mind, and now your host, AJ Orsini. How the hell is everybody out there? This is your boy, your main man, your job soul brother from another mother. This is your host of Orsini's Uncensored Mind. I am AJ Orsini, and we are ever but so close, mere two weeks, if you will, Away from our 100th episode extravaganza. I am working diligently to make that last part extravaganza really mean something. So there's a lot of things going on, a lot of moving parts. If you haven't been keeping track of the show, first of all, shame on you. But secondly, uh, the 100th episode is going to be a huge celebration uh, for myself and for the people who have been involved with this show pretty much since day one. Um, it, it, it's going to mean so much to me. It's going to be an emotional night. I will surely be uh, uh, spent uh, mentally on that day. So until then, uh, i got to still put in the work. And I've been saying for weeks that it's been a while since I've done an interview because I just haven't had the time. Uh, I, I've been running around like crazy. As, as those of you who, who follow the show religiously know, uh, I, I, I do schooling. I got a four-year-old. I, I, I work full-time. I, I do the wrestling stuff. There's but so many hours in a day. And so my last interview was way back when. It was episode 72 with the House of Glory Crown Jewel champion, Montequilla. Uh Good time, good memories with him, not to be copyrighted or get sued or anything like that. But and that was a good time. And there were a lot of interview opportunities in between. There were, were some set up that got canceled and rearranged, uh, not just from their end, but from mine as well. Well, I've had to cancel uh, different guest spots coming through. It's just been a mess. I've just been so all over the place. But as of late, recently, I've been getting my shit together. Everything's kind of moving into place. Uh, it's becoming a beautiful, beautiful thing. So real quick before I make this uh, this next introduction here, uh, we're going to pay a few bills here really quickly. Um, real quick, because I, I don't, I don't want to interrupt what I'm about to do for you guys here. So I'm going to get it all the way out of here. First of all, obviously, the 100th episode, like I just said, we're going to be live, baby. Live back at the studio over at Connecticut School of Broadcasting over in New Jersey, uh, the same place I did my one-year anniversary and my WrestleMania uh, roundtable from live. Uh, we're going to be live. We're going to be taking phone calls. Uh, what is that number? Last, last week I did not have it in front of me. This week I do. Uh, do 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 nine one zero. Is that it? no six zero nine nine one zero. 0687. There it is. That's the phone number there to call in. Uh, not right now, obviously. If you're dialing that number now, uh, you are a fool. That that number uh, will not connect you to me. It will connect you surely to uh, the Connecticut School of Broadcasting, I believe. So I would hold off on uh, dialing that number until uh, July, uh, July 30th. Tuesday, July 30th, we are going live for two hours, 5 to 7 uh, my usual live time is 6 p.m. That won't be the case today. Uh, not today. Again, confusion. That won't be the case Tuesday, uh, July 30th. We're going to be going a little earlier, 5 to 7. That's going to be the time period in which we're doing the show live. That's the number to call. If you don't have the opportunity to call, that is cool because we will be broadcasting live on the Facebook page, the official Orsini's Uncensored Mind Facebook page. Uh, the first time I went live, I was on... Uh, MESN Radio, uh, which is the broadcasting server that they use over at that studio. And uh, while a lot of people were able to listen to the show, a lot of other people had uh, complications and they weren't able to call. 
uh, because of those complications, it was just a mess. Um, the second time we went, uh, th- th- this is how it went. The first show, we had good calls. We had problem with the listening server. The second time, we had a problem with the listening server. We couldn't get on MESN radio, uh, which also negated the calls. But we had a much better listening turnout when we went on Facebook. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the two worlds together for the ultimate, like, this is going to be the megazord of shows. We're going to do uh, the phone calls with the fucking streaming service. So it's going to be live on the official Uncens- uh, Orsini's Uncensored Mind Facebook page, not the group, the page is where the link will be. I'll share it in the group, and I'll share it on my page, and hopefully you guys who are listening will share it on yours as well. Uh, but it will be li- it will be live on the official page. That, again, is July 30th, Tuesday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. I already gave you guys the number. Again, that is 609-910-0687. That will be the information for that. Um, another thing to get through just really, really quickly – uh, as we divulge into this, uh, I needed to give you guys a bit of a disclaimer. So what happened was is uh, the interview you were about to hear, obviously you clicked on the link. The surprise is not really a surprise to you. Uh, Santana and Ortiz, former uh, four-time Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Champions, two of my good friends that I came up in the industry with until they <laughs> surpassed me by light years. They're doing huge right now in the industry. They took the time. Uh, to sit with me and do me the solid of giving me the interview uh, that I have been trying to get pretty much since I started this podcast. So it took 98 weeks, essentially, to get the fucking sit down. Uh, But we finally made it happen. And the only way we were really able to do that, because schedule-wise, it's always been the problem. uh, My schedule's fucked up or their schedule's fucked up. Uh, But we just happened, it's been a while, but we just happened to be at the same fucking show uh, the Homicide Tribute, hashtag 5150, by Game Changer Wrestling over in Brooklyn. We just happened to be at the same place, the same time. And uh, Ortiz was like, yo, bring your shit, and we'll try to make this work. And sure enough, we did. I had to lug all of my equipment into a bag and hold on to it for over four hours just to sit for about 45 or 50 minutes. <laughs> but it was totally worth it. Uh, we did manage to find an area where we can sit, you know, slightly untouchable in our own little nook there to to do this interview. But as you'll hear throughout the course of this, that did not remain that way for the remainder of uh, of the um, of the filming. So I didn't really know how long I was going to be able to be backstage interviewing these two guys. It's kind of a taboo deal. Luckily, I know the people, like I said, uh, a game changer. Everything was cool. I got permission to do everything that I did. But I didn't want to push my luck. So to stop and rewind and do over, I just didn't have that option. So we rolled all the way through. There were a few things that I was able to edit here in post that would that would cut down the time a little bit, so the interview flows a little better. But overall, uh, there's going to be. I'm just giving you guys the heads up. There's in, there's interruptions. People saying goodbye to the guys while they're being filmed. Uh, there's drunk assholes coming up to the microphone to talk shit. And by drunk assholes, I mean fucking huge ass superstars. Uh, but th- in that moment, they're assholes. <laughs> but, I mean, like guys like Eddie Kingston, uh, AEW's Joey Janela comes on at some point and gives this amazing story toward the end. Um, so there's just a lot of a lot of components here jumping in. And, of course, the two guys were all, uh, just so awesome about uh, the information that they gave. I didn't think they would go as deep in as they did, you know, a little bit more behind the curtain. Uh, I tried to ask the right questions without going too far because I understand that we're all professionals. And I, at, at this point, even though I'm not a professional journalist, uh, I'm doing an interview. So the whole point here is to give you guys something that you want to listen to, something you guys want to hear. So, you know, obviously asking the right questions is important. But at the same time, they're my friends and I don't want to get anybody in trouble. So it was a very thin line, but they kept pushing that line a little further, meaning that they were giving me opportunities to ask a little bit a little bit more in-depth and serious questions. So just giving you guys the heads up. This was at the after party of the show. So there's there's a little bit of music in the background. There's some, I think it was Julius, uh, I think it was Julius Smokes hosting the after party. You know, the yeah, 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 yeah the brrrrat. You know, so he's in the background doing a bunch of shit. Um, the longer the video goes, the better the audio got. Uh, we started this recording this like right in the midst of the fucking after party. So just bear with us as we get through. Trust me, you'll be able to hear the guys just fine. Just 
I, if you're listening to this in the car, it's going to probably sound really busy because of all the background stuff. I tried my best to kind of dumb that down and just focus on the interview, but I wanted to give you guys the, the heads up on that. So there will be obviously an episode 99. I wanted to get a little bit more personal on the guests for 99. And then, of course, obviously 100, where I will not only have Stephen James with me yet again, working the ones and twos, but a few more friends. We're going to make this a family event. You know, t- today we did... Uh, we're doing the interview with uh, with good friends, uh, but legitimate superstars. And in the next few weeks, we're going to be doing a little bit more closer to me, closer to the vest. So bear with us all here. It's all going to be great and, and awesome to listen to. Okay, so here's some audio disclaimers for you. 100th episode, uh, prowrestlingtees.com backslash A-G-O-U-M. Obviously, Podbean is not the only source. I've told you guys a million times. It's a million platforms that I'm on. Our Heart Radio, Spotify, iTunes. I mean, you name it, I'm on it. Google or Cine's Uncensored Mind, and that should give you the uh, the app of your choosing to, to listen to the show. So uh, that's enough for me. I just wanted to give you that as a heads up. Uh, this interview was about 45 minutes to about about 45 minutes. So even with this little intro here, we're still staying within the hour. So everything just kind of worked out. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you learn something. I hope you laugh. I hope everything is just just works itself out so this is my finally i get to introduce episode 98 i am bequeathing onto all of you episode 98 lax interview featuring eddie kingston and joey Janela. so enjoy guys i hope you guys get giggles out of this shit and i will see you uh next week after the interview is over i'm gonna go right into my ending shit and you won't hear me again so i will see you fucking guys next week peace Hey everybody, we're CD here, and as I said on the social media there, I was going to be at Game Changer Wrestling, I was going to be at the Tribute to Homicide, hashtag 5150, I said it a week ago, without Homicide there is no more CD, and I am surrounded, I'm in a room full of others who feel exactly the same way, they have referenced him tonight as the King of New York about three or four or five times. And he's still roaming around here in the building. I am surrounded by talent. I've been given the opportunity to be backstage. And I'm getting into it. Mr. Kingston's in the house. How you doing, Mr. Kingston? Yo, yeah, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of, a lot of things coming here. But I have, to, uh, I have to open this whole thing up by saying I have been talking about these particular friends of mine for a long time. And I kept saying for weeks and weeks and weeks, I'm hoping I'm going to, I hope I'll get a chance to get them on the show at some point. And I came to them, they came to me, we met in the middle on a great night, and they're here. I wasn't fucking around, guys. I actually do know these guys. I am with the Santana Ortiz, four times the world tag four team times. champions for Impact Wrestling. Guys, welcome to our CD's Uncensored Mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Bobito and Stretch Armstrong. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, after that great introduction, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I, I just have to say, I just have to say, the only thing you were missing is that we are the two sexiest Puerto Rican studs <laughs> on this goddamn planet. Well, with the Me Too movement going around, I can't be too too. Uh, uh, I can't be too careful about who I Me put, too. That, put that <laughs> information on. I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable with nah, all this. Not at all. But we are live. It's, it's 2019. They ain't no uncomfortable. Hey, it's for so everybody. What up, it's so for what up, everybody, though. Yeah. We are here at the villain in Brooklyn. After parties in the back, I got as far away from the music as I can. But if you can hear it, that is my bad. I will try to deal with this audio a little bit. But more important part is I got the superstars here with me. Okay. Amazing setup. We're literally in the corner <laughs> in this big ass garage. With the board and the headphones on. And uh, and the modellos and the energy yep. drinks. <laughs> and just to, to paint the picture for the people listening, yeah. I was just like, hey, maybe we need to find a quiet space. He said, find me a plug. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Which I, I got lucked out. I got two. So yeah. my laptop's in and my board. And we're is sitting in. in this corner with the most <laughs> professional. Uh, on the go setup that I've ever seen. <laughs> There's wires in the but it's all good. Yeah. People <laughs> usually got you know the little gimmick, the little box gimmick, yeah. and then they uh-huh. just plug a couple of things and microphones yeah. in. Yeah. But yeah, he got that's a whole how soundboard to, and everything. That's he how brought, I used to. He yeah. legit brought his studio yeah. and, and his held it for mad hours yeah. in a yeah. suit. He did. <laughs> so we had to. We had to do. We had to do. This. They felt obligated. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I, I, uh, of all the people that you guys do interviews with, I actually have one small advantage. I've known you guys for forever. Yeah, yeah, a long time. <laughs> I, you, I was known us since, uh, well, before that, but uh, you really got to know us when 
we Ooh. were just start, started tagging. That's right. Well, yeah, yes. straight up. Yeah. Which is one of the uh, stories I wanted to start with here in the beginning because uh, I said this on the show before, but now that you're all here, when you got before you guys got together, you were singles, and when you got together, and I'll name drop here because he told me not to, so I specifically will. Pete, Pete <laughs> Rodriguez, a, very, a mutual friend among us, <laughs> right? <laughs> We hated the pairing. <laughs> we actually were not fans of the pairing. The two of you were so different at the time. Mm -hmm. Where it was just like, wow, this doesn't make any sense. It just seems like we're slapping two people together. But you guys have morphed. You've evolved. You've gelled uh -huh. over time. And now I can't see you apart, which is a good thing, I guess. <laughs> you know, we guys are yeah. a team. We yeah. always, like we always say, uh, together we make the perfect one wrestler. 100%. I would like, form yeah. like Voltron. We'll form like Oh yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. The big muscle hose. He <laughs> makes up for my weaknesses, and I make up for his weaknesses. Oh, that's the pretty team much what started. It is. What's that? 2012, 2011. When do you actually chuck that back? 2011. We, we, have a, we have an argument about this all the well, time. The, <laughs> the <laughs> video that's online, which is our first, our very first. Um, uh, I see. It was that the five star uh, or the tag? No, no, it was our very first tag match together. It was at uh, in the Bronx. All money is at, legal. Yeah. All oh money yes. Is legal. And that Let video was uploaded in 2011, so I go by So let's go by 2011. We'll go okay. by that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all yeah, right. We'll that was back. our first tag match, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We had yeah. talked about it before that point. Uh, that was right before we got to Brooklyn, before we went to the leaders. Yes, yeah. uh -huh. yes. Which, that word is said a lot on my show because I always manage, cause I always manage to, because I, I try to bring in guys who are world-traveled and I try to get different perspectives, but it just so happens a lot of those guys from that class came out to do a bunch of shit. Yep, yep, so, yep. So a lot of my, like, my, my, my circle revolves around that place. You guys obviously being the most famous of the group thus far. Pat on the back. Pat on the back <laughs> for all that work you guys have put in. But let's fast forward a little. I didn't want to dabble too much into the past. I want to talk a little bit more about today. Take me into a day in the life because I have been trying to get you on the show since like episodes 40 something. <laughs> and I have my 100th episode in two weeks. I'm going live. Hey, we should have waited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should have waited. You guys won't be here. <laughs> oh, my 100th episode. So can we copy and paste this into 100? I could. Yeah, there you, you go. You want to leave a message for 100 yeah, now? Yeah, you can re release it as, as Yeah, 100. I'll play it. I'm going to be live, so we can play the audio yeah. again. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> or you can call in on whatever plane you're on or whatever, you know, whatever country. Yeah. If you don't want to hit the when roaming charges. It, when, when you film it? I'm recording it in the studio in New Jersey. Where? When? What, what day? Uh, ju uh, Tuesday, July 30th. I'm, we'll be home. You will be home. Yeah. So July 30th? Tuesday yeah. is a Tuesday. Where are we <laughs> on a Tuesday? Tuesday. <laughs> no, well, I'm going to be training. There you go. See, he's you got the... You uh, still fucking call? What time? <laughs> I'm sorry for dropping yeah, that It goes line. from 5 to 7. It'll be all right. You just saved me a bunch you. of time. I was going to plug that later, but uh, yeah, you just saved you me. Go. <laughs> 5 to 7 on July 30th. It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Ladies and gentlemen, you're now listening <laughs> for the 100th episode. You've heard this man speak a hundred times. Here he is. Or CD, the man, <laughs> the myth, the legend. <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh so man, boy, it's terrible. Yeah. No, it's there not go. terrible. Dogs There's a cool. snippet. There, thank you. I'm, yeah. gonna, that's gonna, I'm probably going to open with that now that <laughs> I know that we're doing that. You guys right now are rocking as the LAX, Latin American Exchange. You just went out there tonight uh, against the OGs, the original LAX. Talk yes, to sir. me about the emotion about tonight, being in there with these guys that you look to as role models, now literally passing the torch on to you guys to carry this load. Multiple times. Yeah. On multiple occasions. Yeah, they're pretty I mean, consistent on um, putting you guys over and letting everybody uh, know you guys uh, are next. A hundred percent. Um... Man, Homicide could have wrestled anybody. It's his show. Yeah. If he would have said he wanted to wrestle Blase Blase, they'll be here. They blase Blase would have been here. Blase <laughs> Blase would have been here. You know what I mean? In a shoot but, style match. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he could have picked anyone, and he picked us. And that's just an honor in itself, man. Uh, and just to be back here with, with all the guys, like. like yeah, we were talking saying. earlier. We were looking around. We were like, yo, if 15, 60 or us were. Right here, right now, we'll be, we'll be marking the fuck out. Yeah. And we were. Because we were still marking And now you got your own corner. You're taking yeah, photos yeah. with the boys. <laughs> these, 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 all these guys back here are all the guys that we grew up watching. And we grew up, uh, yeah. uh, you know, seeking out those VHS tapes and going oh, yeah. to all the old indie shows and, and seeing all these guys. So to be back here and to be seen as a peer and seen as someone that's uh, carrying that same tradition yeah. of what they did. I mean, that in, it, that in itself, we didn't even have to wrestle. I like it, the fact that we're here and we were invited and to be a part of all this, then it's, yeah. it's awful. 
I, I, I wish we didn't wrestle. We were just here backstage and we got to watch the show. You know, it's been a common theme for tonight. There's so many wrestlers that were like, man, I really wish I could have just, just gotten to, to yeah. see him perform and exactly. do his thing. Because yeah. a lot of people were walking around asking if this was a last hurrah. It's not. It's just a celebration of the yeah. of the career Happy overall. Happy birthday. 25 years. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take it back for me. Uh, there was a situation when my career literally first started where Homicide kept interjecting just to get me more screen time or more mic time because uh -huh. I guess he saw a little something in me too at the very beginning. But the idea, I think he said it best inside the ring, you never know whose life you're going to touch. Yeah. And as long as your career goes, you guys now are in a different level. You guys just made mention about being in that corner and man, if we would have been here a few years ago, would have been marking out. You guys wear those colors with so much pride, that blue, that red, that star. And when you have OGs like that look to you and say, you're next, is this more, at this stage, is it more than a wrestling career? Are you putting all that on your shoulder now saying, yeah, I want to it's be a, that a person? It's our legacy. It's, it's, and not only that, like, it's always been more, for me, and, and, and like, what we're doing now, it's Because you literally wear it on your chest. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's been, it's, it's, it's been more than just wrestling for me. This is something that, uh, you know, like we always say, uh, we just want to show kids from where we're from that it's possible. It doesn't matter what you've gone through. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with today. It doesn't matter. As long as you dedicate yourself with, to something and yeah. you're fucking obsessed and you're you're willing to do whatever obsessed. it takes, Keyword, whatever obsessed. it takes to, to get to where you need to get to. Yeah. That's all it takes. You know how many times people told us, oh, get a real job. Get a real job. What yeah. are you doing? Our family too. You know, of course. coming from a Latino family, coming from a Puerto Rican family, like they don't get it. Right. What are we with at 19? We're supposed to be already having a job, being a union, getting ready to have kids, yeah. get married. At 25, we should have a house, and you know, that's what you do. That's the era they came from. So when they see us like going and destroying ourselves, coming back, not making no money, getting a hot dog, you know, or the handshake for a lack of a better term, and just killing ourselves for nothing, like it took a really long time for my father personally to get it. I know for a fact his mother just didn't get it. And she goes, I, yeah. you're, you're crazy. You know what I mean? Both of you, you're crazy. Why do you, why are you hurting yourselves? And people don't get it unless you do it. You I'm get sorry. it. You've been in the ring. Yeah. And just, there's something about it. It's a drug. We're addicted to it. You know The what happiest I mean? day of my mother's life was when I put the suit on. Yeah. <laughs> because she was like, this is great. Because yes. you still do the business uh -huh. and not kill yourself. Little anymore. does she know you'll throw on the mask. Yeah, I'm, not I didn't blow, listen. I'm not trying to blow those spots. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I, I, I will always admit to the fact that as much passion as I had, I never really had the skill to get as far as I wanted to get. My skill set always leaned more toward in the other direction. Once I accepted that, it was a much easier transition for me. Talk to me a little bit about those lows because, Santana, you and I have had many a conversation at many wrestling shows where during this time period where you weren't getting a whole lot, you were trying to get the team over, get the brand over, yeah. and there were many a conversation where we sat down and you just kept looking at me because you just had your daughter at that time, yeah. your family situation was kind of up and down, you were like, I really don't know how much longer I can do this. Yeah. Ortiz, I know you went through a similar uh, situation. You just recently had a child yourself. Yep. Talk to a little bit about those sacrifices because a lot of people right now, I think, are seeing the up. They're not, a lot of new fans, we'll say, is now seeing the up. They 100%. see you guys go in there and do your thing and you're like one of the top acts in the world now. But they, didn't, they weren't there at the very, very, very beginning. Talk to me about what it was like for the two of you to bond together and say, we're going to fucking do this. Uh, you know what? It all comes full circle because the reason that you brought up him having that situation where he's just, he was at a place where he had left his job. He was unemployed. We mm -hmm. were we were grinding on the indies. We're every weekend. I used to pick him up from work to go to shows. Yo, grind. With the slats and the button downs. Monday, Monday through Friday, this man will go work 40 hours. Uh huh. Have to have to be a dad when he gets home, right? Tired mm -hmm. always, of course. The you know how it is thing, working yeah. working that nine to five man. It drains you. No matter what you do, it's mentally draining. It's physically draining. And then he would go on the weekends and have to put a work in. Like, he can't go yeah. on the weekends, and he's doing all this, and then all of a sudden he shows up on the weekend and phones it in. And I think that's where that's where we got that work ethic from, because it's like, I'm doing so much just to, to support this, just so we can make it, just so my family can eat, that this has to work. Yeah. And he said those words, he goes, wrestling has to work. Yeah. Like, I'm not taking no for an answer. Yeah. And he was at the point where he was unemployed, he was collecting our employment check, and he's like, damn, like, 
wrestling has to work out because if I go back and get another job, then I don't think wrestling is going to fold, you know what I mean, for yeah. him at that point. Because, I, I, again, I needed to do whatever I needed to do to take care of my family because that's Absolutely, my number one yeah. priority. Yeah. So, you know, I, when I quit my job, I was, I was, you know, I was scared. I was nervous. I was, uh, there was anxiety. I was depressed. But, like he said, I told myself, wrestling has to work now. Yeah. And, it, and I, we're going to fucking do whatever it takes. Whatever we need to do to get to where we need to get to, let's do it. And I'm, I'm all in. I'm yeah, I'm there. All in. I'm, I'm all and the in. answer and the answer to that question was knowing homicide. It all goes full circle. Yeah. The fact that we have a bigger audience now, we have a bigger brand now. The fact that people even know who the fuck we are is because of homicide. Uh, it literally had no contact with with Impact TNA yeah. with them with them at all. And then we randomly got a, a email from Jeremy Borash. And uh, I've told the story. Also, so I'm not... also, shout out to Shane Strickland, too. And yeah, I was going to get there. Yeah, I was going to get there. Strickland texted me at like almost 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Legit. Yeah. I was in my bed, and I felt I had, I usually put the phone under my, for the alarm to wake up so I could take my daughter to school. And I had the phone there, and I felt it vibrate twice. And I was like, yo. Who's hitting me up at four in the morning? So it started with anger. Yeah. Like, I don't beat so the I'm shit like, out of whoever so I'm just like, texted me. First of all, who's yeah. texting me? You like, trying to get I'm me a troll with my girl? Yeah. Like, I'm getting yeah. text at four in the morning. Who's texting you in the middle of the morning? Who's texting you for a booty call? Once my girl sees the label. Babe, it's Shane. What kind of bitch is yeah. named yeah. Shane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I know that's cold. Yeah. But Shane said. You fucking bitch is named Shane? Who's Shane now? Shane now, right? Shane Bro, you think you're slick? Leave him vials out. Shane hit me up and he's like, yo, I'm about to go to school. I'm like, yeah, 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 hit me up and he goes yo is it okay if i give your number to uh to conan and i replied at four in the morning <laughs> caps yes. Yes. all caps yes yeah yeah he was probably in cali at that point right yeah probably that's why yeah. it was three hours same as 1 a.m and they were they were like, taping for lucha underground yeah i've had conan's number in my phone for forever but i've never used it because ray because ray gave it to me because oh, okay. i was like oh yeah i'd love to do something with you he's like here and he gave me a number he goes oh it's not mine it was conan's i was like yeah whatever sure Jesus. sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, handed yeah, me yeah. a number yeah, yeah. that's it um but to, to go back to the to the point uh and we were at that point in our lives, and we were just grinding. We were doing Beyond. We were going up to C4. But we were, we were at the point where it's like we could see the ceiling, you know, the, the, the hypothetical glass ceiling. Yeah. And we just, we just needed to find a way to break through. Yeah, we were, at that time, we were just throwing, throwing, uh... Sorry, one second. That's all right, though. Take Magic, the, the man the himself. Yeah. The man himself. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. A lot of guys are breaking out here. Thank you again for coming here. out for us. Thank you. Yes, sir. Be safe. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Get home safe. All right? No, no problem at all. Listen, it's magic, baby. Don't worry yeah, about yeah. it. That's a magic moment. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. So, um, uh, that was a good line. Magic moment. I, I like I'm, that. I'm really good uh, with those. Yeah. <laughs> Gift to <the> God, baby. <laughs> um, so, yeah, man, uh, uh, we were at that, that, that weird crossroads. You know uh -huh. what I mean? And, I mean... Deep down inside, I always knew we were going to make it. It was just yeah. a matter of where the hell we were going to go next. We needed to get to that next level. And then we needed the exposure. We needed to be seen. 100%. Let me just show them what I can do. And 100%. Then the rest will take we just need a, so. a bigger audience. Yeah. We were already at the point. We we're always learning and we're always getting better. But we were at the point where we were ready to go. You know what right. I mean? Uh, and then we got that phone call. And then, uh, Which is my next question because you, you were just you just said you felt like you were ready to go. Uh, your debut in, in Impact mm -hmm. shocked the shit out of yeah. locker rooms across New yeah, York City. Yeah, yeah. I happened to be working the show the day that the taping happened. No one knew. And yeah, not only did no one knew, but it came on the screen because they had it on uh, at the bar that we were okay. at, you know, the backstage area. And it comes on and the fucking place blew like... No, but like we all, like the whole room popped, uh -huh. and immediately we were like, "What?" And I'm sure you guys must have got a, because I was one of them. I was like, yeah, "What the yeah, fuck yeah, did yeah, I just yeah, see?" Yeah. Are you guys? Awesome. Because my thing is, is like, because I think with WWE, we didn't think and, anyone would be watching. Yeah, well, well, with the major, major companies, like when you see them on, you just assume that they're contracted. With the Impact, they kind of have like a, an open door system. They do. Yeah. So our concern was like. Okay, so are they on or are they on, on? At like, that time, we, were like, we didn't even know. Yeah, well, see, uh, uh, we were all in the dark, yeah, I guess. Yeah, we were all in the dark. We were like, because we were like, but I, I mean, that's great. It's great exposure for them, but I mean, like, yeah. are they in? Because we were like, all of us were just like, please. Yeah. Like, I've never seen that many people like, yeah, sign them. You know, usually <laughs> some asshole gets up and like, fuck, that could have been yeah, me. Yeah, but yeah, I was yeah. happened to be in a room where like all the boys were like, fuck, yes, please, sign them, please, yeah. whatever you do. So you... 
talk to me about that day. Like you guys are just you you just like yourself. You didn't even know if you were signed just yet. Well, so it well, wasn't like just your stomach's churning. You just in forward and chilling. Of course, we, we got the phone call, and literally two days later, we were flying down to Orlando. Yeah, it was just and I was at work. He was. Uh, to not go off two on the tangent. We were at work. He was yeah. like, oh, yeah. fuck this. Uh, yeah, oh, man. Oh, immediately. Big, big swing yeah. in this office. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> Impact zone. Yeah, I mean, I mean so, yeah, yeah, you guys are doing the we, whole um, the day We got the stuff. phone call, right? Thanks yeah. to Shane Strickland and thanks to the, the approval of Homicide because yeah. Conan didn't know who we were. So, uh, whatever. We, we talked to the powers that be and then we end up there that weekend. And then when we're there that weekend, we don't know what's going on. We literally yeah. disarray. At that moment in time, the company's gotten a lot better since then. But at that moment in time, there was a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Oh, so yeah. there was a lot of agents. There was a lot of people. Obviously, at that time, Jeff Jarrett was the man. You know what I right, mean? Right, yeah. But uh, 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 Shout out, by the way. You guys, technically on paper, Jay. are the last... TNA, uh, TNA World Tag Always, Team Champions, for yeah. For unless somehow, ever, ever. unless somehow the company pops back up, but who knows? And Double J, he gave yeah. us our job. Right? Double J he gave us our jobs, yeah. along with Borash and Conan. It was yeah. a many people. Yeah. The reason why we got gave there, you this opportunity, gave us our opportunity. But anyway, so we're we're there that weekend. We do the run in. What you saw, we we come yeah. in and we we, we jump the K, and we have that moment. Even be at that point when we were going out, Conan was a little hesitant. He didn't know how the crowd was going to react. No. He didn't know if the people were going to remember or, or you know shit what? on you because exactly. you're not the real LA. Exactly. Right. But e even though we got some negativity, and we'll still get it to this day. This is not LAX. It's homicide. For those who guys. haven't really been clipped yeah, in close. Yeah, and that's yeah. fine. And that's fine. I get that. There's they must have been confused people. as fuck when you was facing the other LAX. Yes, guys. yes. It's like that Spider-Man meme where uh -huh, he pointed yeah, the other yeah. Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, you ever seen the matches with all the Tiger Masks? Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. 50 Tiger Masks in the ring. All competing yeah, against all each competing other. all competing against each other. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, we had that moment. It was a good reaction. It, it blew up on all the dirt sheets. Yeah. We, we got a lot of positive reaction. The crowd reacted to us positively, right? So later on that day, because it's broken up into tapings, yeah, we that. wrestle uh, uh, DCC, uh, yeah. Kingston. I was just going to say a big Bray. shout out to James Storm for that pinfall victory right out the gun of yeah, the yeah. TNA OG. He put us over, and uh, he, yeah. and he, he could have been like, Matter he could have yeah. been like, nope. Yeah, word. <laughs> he could have. Matter he could have. Yeah. Because I'm like, I'm like, I, I'm gonna see what Storm does. <laughs> yeah. Because I know the Arsenal. I don't know if they knew it. Yeah. So I was like, okay, you, here you, comes. You but that was the test yeah. to yeah. see how we would do. Then they saw, oh shit, uh, uh, the, the the general uh, uh, feel of everybody was like, there's a lot of guys that come from the Indies, but y'all look like y'all belong on TV. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's people that come from the Indies and wrestle the indie style, and. We still do that, of course. We you go, we go in there with Lucha Bros. But again, it's thanks, fireworks. thankfully, like like we were saying, thanks to uh, you know Storm and Brand. Yes, there was a lot of guys there. Like the the American Wolves were still there. We those recently guys, just wrestled yeah, them. Yeah, like those yeah. guys, man. Like yeah, schooled us and 100%. smartened us up. Yeah. Like I was gonna so ask, much. did they? Did, did you hear the phrase "slow the fuck down"? About no, 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 no. We, Actually, we uh, we like to consider ourselves hybrid wrestling. We can adjust to what you need us to do. Okay. And I think that's why we've been so successful. Yeah. You need us to go do hardcore. I don't like doing hardcore matches. I know you don't. I wish I could <laughs> kick and swivel all fucking day, baby. <laughs> do some lucha. And at the end, drop somebody on their head. Japanese yeah. style. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. But we'll do it. And we need to do comedy. We'll yeah. do it. And we need to do technical wrestling. We'll do it. Lucha. Do it. Whatever. Absolutely. And honestly, you have to be a chameleon in wrestling. And being that that's how we were on the indies... That's how we went to go wrestle everywhere. And we were ready. We already went to Canada. We were wrestling people from all over. So we already had the experience and the, uh, uh, the acumen to, to take on what they were throwing at us. And it was literally sink or swim, right? So we do the match with DCC. It goes well. Everybody's okay. So then the next day, we show up. We don't know what the fuck is going on. And back then, they used to do five days of taping. It used to be terrible <laughs> oh because God. you're there at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then we were super Joe in the beginning. We get there an hour early. Yeah, we we yeah. say hello to everybody. 11 a.m. to 12 yeah. a.m. you mean yeah. sometimes. Yeah, yeah. whatever. We'd so there we're there super early. It's Orlando. It's fucking hot. Yeah, it's fucking we're all hot. done up in nice suits and shit. Now we don't give a fuck. <laughs> but no. back then, yeah. we're like, yes. You know, we're trying to get a job, of course. Yeah. And you always put your best foot forward. So then the second day... Uh, we're going to wrestle Hector Garza, uh, Laredo Kid, it's us, uh, Reno Scum, and Decay in a four-way right. four tag match, right? Yep. So Scott Demore was our agent, right, at the time. 
So we're with Laredo Kid and Garza, like uh, by the side, and we're, we're calling the match, and we're figuring out what we're going to do, and we're talking. And then uh, Scott brings the K over and goes, all right, let me hear the match, guys. What's up? Blah, 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 blah. We start calling the match, and they're like, okay, okay. And Scott's like, okay, okay. And he goes, all right, well, LAX is up, which we knew, right? And we were like, kayfabe, kayfabe, spoiler alert. So uh, <laughs> yeah. they were like, all right, LAX up. And we're like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then he was like, oh, yeah, and this is for the, the titles. And then me and Santa had to look at each other and we're like, we mouth like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what did he just say? I and he literally, like- he literally stops the conversation. He goes, Scott, what, for the titles? And he goes, yeah, for the titles. And this motherfucker goes, he hugs Scott. He goes, thank you, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, shit. Right? So he kind of has that know. moment. We play it cool. I didn't hug Scott. You hugged Scott. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. <laughs> not that that I didn't fucking hug Scott. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll argue all day back and forth, but it's not an important okay. part of the story. Anyways, <laughs> the hug is neither here nor cool. there at this point. We play right. cool. <laughs> we fucking we play cool, whatever. And then like the little meeting breaks, and then we walk off to the side, and we're like, "Yo, what the fuck is going on?" Like we, <laughs> yo, what? We're winning the titles, <laughs> and then this guy is such a nervous Nelly. Like he's always like, "But I don't know if uh, he always overthinks things." That's just who he is, right? Uh. So then he was like. But whatever, we have the match, we do the moment. We're on cloud nine, we have ride. We're playing it cool in front of everybody. Then we get back to the hotel room and we sit down and we're holding the TNA fucking tag team titles, man. <laughs> and they heavy as fuck. I got we had that moment. Man, we, we both had that moment, you know what I mean? And we were like, man. All those car rides came yeah, back, right? man. Yeah, man. And then even then, we weren't contracted. So we didn't yeah. know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> we were about to pull the punk. You knew the, the kiss, and yeah. you didn't walk away with the belt. The second day, we finished the loop. <laughs> Yo, we finished the loop. W. No one, st- no one. Yeah, we want to do that so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so we, 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 we finished the loop. Uh, we see Jeff Jarrett on the last day. We have very minimal conversation. Jeff Jarrett, happy. And he goes, what's up, boys? And we're like, hey. You know what I mean? We're yeah. still super Joe. Yeah, hello, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, how you doing? And then he's like, hey. Hi, sir, how you and doing? And then he comes up to us and goes, y'all taking the titles home? And we were like, I mean, yeah, if you let us. <laughs> yeah, <word. laughs> And then he's, yeah, take them home, whatever, we'll talk. Great job. He gave us a hug. He was like, thank you. And he left. And we're just like, uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, whatever. Listen, let's go before he hits literally, the deposit. Hold on, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Literally <laughs> leave. We don't get our contract until almost the end of the week that they uh-huh. email us a contract. So for like four or five days, we weren't on the contract, and he let us take the titles home. And the whole entire time, he's like, are we going to get signed? Like, <laughs> So you're the no, champs, and you're wondering. Yeah. We're showing up on Monday Night Raw. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're in WWE, we were still no. WCW. We had yeah, to yeah. say, yeah. Just we, just we, we just want to do. WCW. WCW. Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. Do Doesn't even matter if I yeah, actually bro. go anywhere. And just spit at somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm you guys told this this great story about all the sacrifices you guys made. Talk to me about now you're the tag team champions, first time ever, the real TNA tag team champions. Now you're on a plane, headed back to New York. You're going to walk into your house with this fucking belt in your hand. Are you looking at your family now and going, look, this, this is what was, it was That for. was pre-me having a family. I was yeah. still living in my pop's house, you know what, what? I mean? I was still what figuring it out. What happened to the tag team? Yeah. <laughs> fucking... When we came home, I remember opening my door and, and my daughter and, and, and wifey was home. And I was like, I didn't, I was still processing that whole week. Because okay. we were there for like four days, right? Four or five days. Yes. And um, it was long. It, I was still processing everything, <laughs> and I remember getting home and and having the belt or whatever. And I remember just hugging. I hugged my family, and I I had that moment with them as soon as I got home. I just hugged my family, and um, like I was like, everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, everything's gonna. I be can all right. relate to that now, but at the time I was a bachelor, I was a single yeah. man. I so you had kind of like a <sighs> moment yeah. where yeah. you just yes. like. I was like. Even even though we didn't have a contract or we didn't, we knew no people good was going to come yeah, for this. That like doesn't I matter. I saw the internet and yeah. I saw it and like, yeah, there, there's yeah, no way. because the internet always knows what's going on. No, <laughs> we saw the internet yeah, and no it was blowing no clue, up with yeah. stuff and we were like, there's no way that we're gonna let this opportunity go to waste. Yeah. We're gonna do our absolute best. Yep. With this opportunity and that's why, it, that's why I got home and I was like, I say it all the time uh, as. As someone who was in the business to then start a podcast, one of the things that I always start stay away from, and we talked about this earlier, is being too inside 
with my audience and being critical of, oh, I wouldn't have done that, or I would. That's just to me, it's just dumb. I just have a good time talking about what happened, yeah, where yeah, this could yeah, go, yeah. I'll and say, when this could. I always can say to everybody, and like, I, of course, everyone is entitled to their opinion. You yeah. pay your money, you go to a show, you yeah, it's your you right can do whatever to you want. It's your right to boo. Yeah, yeah. But, as long as you but, don't touch the wrestlers, no, you're good uh, to go. But the main and thing is, you get fatoed. The main thing is, <laughs> yeah. enjoy professional wrestling. Yeah. just enjoy it. Even if you have enjoy fun. hating people, yeah, bro, enjoy it. Enjoy your it. success makes it hard for me, you selfish <laughs> fucks, because I read the shit. Yeah. You know, I sent you a link the other day of uh-huh. some dirt sheet shit, uh-huh. and I'm reading it, and it gets me hot. And I'm yeah. like, no, that's not what's happening. Yeah. But I can't tell them what's happening because uh-huh. it's supposed to be yeah, a private yeah. deal. But I'm reading this, and I'm like, no, this is a fucking yeah, wrong. Funny. You sent me so that, it and makes I'm just me like, upset. Yeah. I don't say anything. First of all, I don't know anything. But that's why, because I don't ask, and I don't ask because yeah. I don't want to be one of those people that is talking to somebody, and I slip. It's like I'm not even thinking about it. Yeah, and yeah, no, gets I out. And like, so oh, I, shit. yeah. So even though like I'm cool with you guys, I never really ask about that inside stuff. You got that is that You don't right. know because of this. It makes me dangerous. I don't yeah. want to get on here and say the wrong fucking thing. By the way, uh, there you go. Another one. Anthony again going here. The House Glory World Champ. What's going on? <laughs> Uh, this here, uh, I've been doing this for over a year now. 25 countries have downloaded this show. 100 episodes, yeah, 100 baby. episodes. 100. So, That's uh, right. <laughs> Another snippet. Yeah. You're listening to the 100th <laughs> episode with AJ fucking RC. I can't wait Ow! for him to release this as 98. <laughs> <laughs> That was the plan. I don't know now. <laughs> These are just snippets. You can nip this. You yeah, know, I'll cut it all out. Yeah, this is going to be 98. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are, you're, you're, you're so, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. You're signed. You're the four-time Impact Tag Team Champions uh-huh. now. When you, We just told a story about what it was like coming into the division. Now, and this is me speaking, my humble opinion, you're not a part of the division anymore. You're kind of the division at this point. There's a lot of teams that either that. you started with that use you as a rival and a bunch of new teams that come in that say, if I can rock with LAX, I might have a I, job. So now the shoe's on the other foot. Are you now looking at these new teams coming in, like the North or anyone like that, that are forming up where you're like, listen, we, we, we can definitely do this the, together. No, the North, not only that, we want, we, we, we're all about making sure that, that like, we're very selfless in the ring. But you know? also, right. we, we realize we're not nothing with our uh, opponents. Exactly. We're right. not. Exactly. The reason why people will even, were even in the argument for being in the best tag team in the world is because we wrestled some of the best tag team in the world. You know what I mean? And we were able to go to toe-to-toe with them. So you're only as good as your dance partner. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So the, the reason why we get all that is because we've had really good partners. And thank God... Impact is always taking care of us. They always yeah. booked us in the best possible situations. You know what I mean? Or we, even if it wasn't, we still made the best. Of, like we, w- I remember, like we would get. Not, I don't want to say heat because to me, heat is a word that you use when you're going outside to fight somebody. That's heat to me. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> people, they they would just like try to smarten us up, and when we would have like, um, you know, uh, you know, enhancement matches with like younger guys coming in and they wanted us yeah. to squash them and stuff like that. And we would give them and, and we you would give them the them, job and yeah. stuff. We would give them more than usual yeah. that they, you know, a lot of guys and we would get be it. like, we'll yo, get shit yeah. yeah. And, and we would just be like, yo, don't even worry. Like, we would tell the guys, don't even worry about it. Yeah. Like, don't just- I just, I've never been a fan of the, uh, of the squash matches. Yeah. Unless... Yeah. Very rare, you know. It's cool. You'll get right. that all factor, but they, they were going on and they were trying to build us. I completely get it. But it, I've always been a, 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 a fond believer in wrestling. If you beat nothing, then you are, you are nothing. Yeah. The guys have been a tag team pretty much since what was it again? 2011. 11, 2011. 11, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. that's an eight-year run. You yeah. guys are almost going like nine. dinosaurs. He would like to point. say eleven at this point. There's guys wrestling. that you faced. We've been tag team in fifteen years. There's guys that you faced two uh, a few years ago that probably aren't even tagging or even in the business anymore. Yeah, yeah you yeah. guys have been doing this for a long time, but you're still very young. I yes, mean, the, the bump card's kind of full, but uh, you're still very young. My body's young. not young, but... Yeah, the bodies are young, in, yeah. In all Especially at your are. style. I saw that street sweeper go away real fast. <laughs> <laughs> it had to. It had to go away, man. I'm going to only pull it out for big shows. There you go. Well, or in big opponents. As, right? long, as long as our families are taken care of and they can live great, amazing <laughs> lives, Fuck my body. Yeah. I'm okay to, to you know... <laughs> no. If I could, if I could <laughs> at limp to chase my daughter, I'm okay. Yeah, okay. I may not run. But I'll, I'll get to you. 
Uh, like the leg brace on the bus yeah. the other day. Uh, <laughs> that's cool technology. Bro, the way technology's going, we're going to just become bionic men. They're going to just replace everything in us, and we'll be fine. And then you'll get another 20 years out of this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys are widely considered the best tag team in the world at this point. You always kind of felt like you would be, but now it's the public telling you. Yes. That you're yes. one of the best tag teams in the world. When you yourselves, and I'm asking from your POV now, when you walk through that curtain, when you get in that ring, does it even matter who that opponent is at that point? Are you guys so confident right now about your level that nah. do you still feel like you need that right opponent or you feel like right now you can get in there with just about anybody right now right now we just want to make magic with anybody because yeah. to me that's the true sign of a true professional when you can wrestle a broomstick Bray Hart can wrestle a broomstick he'll sell, the, he'll sell his ass off of that broomstick it doesn't bro. matter who's in he'll there he'll work yeah. it doesn't matter who's in there 4 we out of 10 yeah. and, and we want to uh, we want to have fun and we want to make sure that the person that's uh, facing us comes out with something yeah whether yeah. it's no more notoriety whether it's learning something whether it's as long as they come out of the match like with something bro and we want to learn too because yeah. just because we've wrestled the amount of matches that we have hundreds at this point if not thousands and not just uh, impact but i mean you guys are wrestling all over the world now yes. mexico yeah. puerto rico you yeah. guys are over in the uh -huh. uk are we Germany. seeing a trip to Japan yep. at some point? It needs to happen. It needs to happen. I know. Listen, I know he's begging for it over here. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Uh, we are working on that. It will happen sooner than later. Um, Gotta get those visas going, boy. <laughs> go back to your point. We also want to leave behind a good legacy. We also just believe in being good human beings, be good dudes. We want. We want to pay it forward. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. That's, and, that's one thing that was always instilled in us from the beginning. Magic. Uh, homicide. Yeah. Everybody who's interrupted this interview has yeah. been uh, high uh, into your life. Except every for person, thankfully, we've been surrounded with people that have uh, um, have always spit positivity to us and always always uh, made sure that, like, do the right thing, man, and, and always stay humble. Yeah. Always Absolutely. never forget what you come you, from. You don't. Right now, we're on the up. We're on a rise right now. Yeah. And hot. You're hot. And it's, we're going to keep going. For, I can't wait uh, for this rub when I release this, man. <laughs> at, least, at least another five years uh, of just grinding out, yeah. having these matches, setting our legacy. Eventually, it's not going to last forever. No, so I was going to ask that eventually what, you, what the exit and plan is You'll go here. down, but you never know who you're going to meet on the way back down. Absolutely. It could be that one person that you were a total piece of shit to seven years ago. I, you best believe that person will never forget that. You know what I mean? I remember the people that were really good to me. I know in my head right now yeah. I can name five wrestlers off the top that were good ass human beings. So and and non wrestlers, I was okay. And non wrestlers. <laughs> I know that my people, the people listening to this show, probably don't believe me, but there was a point in time when the two of them would ask my criticism of their <laughs> matches. True story. That's how far back they would True go. Story, Angel yo. would have a match and he would come in the back, yo. For real, though, how was that? Yeah, because <laughs> I'm a firm believer, even at this point, yeah. I want everyone's opinion. Right, exactly. I want the casual fan's opinion. I want the smart fan's opinion. I want the non-wrestling fan opinion. Absolutely. Like, you need everyone's opinion. Like, I read more of the dirt sheets, and I'll watch reviews, and it's like, why? Why do you even bother with that shit? I it's like an athlete stuff. watching sports center, right? Yeah, you don't want to get inside stuff. your own when head. When people shit on me, I laugh at it. But sometimes they have a point, and you, they, I'll be like... I'm not going to tell them this, but maybe I should have went for the cover there. They're right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just little things you never know because you get so stuck up in your New, stick. New Master 69 said yep. that I probably shouldn't have pulled the trunk at that point. And maybe, I got to keep an eye out for that and shit. And New Master 69 was right in that one moment. <laughs> in that one Everything moment. else might be bullshit. He might have but, been. Yeah. <laughs> but to, I, I want to go back before I forget this. While Kingston... Kingston. <laughs> Kingston. Let that fight get out, bro. <laughs> 18 years. Kingston's back. I listen. I just want to thank Eddie Kingston for teaching me how to tell a story. <laughs> and if it wasn't for Eddie Kingston, I wouldn't be at this point in my career. And <laughs> thank you, Eddie and, Kingston. And they should thank me because all they were were spot monkeys before they and, came to me and, and talked to me. Especially this one over here, fucking dressed he over how here. To do a back roll. I do. Oh. Motherfucker, I'll loot you the shit out of you on my worst <laughs> day. Never that. You're welcome. <laughs> Peace. Well, I'm keeping on it. Skyder. <laughs>
I always wanted to get him uh, on the show, and now I know that now whiskey is the way to do it. Yeah, whiskey is the way to do it. You got a caveat. <laughs> so when you put up episode 98, the 100th episode. It's going to be LEX yeah. featuring Eddie yeah. Kingston. Yeah. <laughs> episode With appearance, 98. Yeah. And a half. Appearances when by he, Eddie Kingston. Back at Impact, would he get his speech for that many run-ins on a single match? That's like his third yes, run-in yes, on this. Yes. <laughs> we always get speeches in the back from Eddie Kingston. We love him, though. Um. Just to go back before I forget, you brought them up earlier, and I definitely want to give them, you know, all due respect. The Rascals in the North. Yeah. I'm gonna let you know, there's. We've been wrestling the, these dudes for years already on the Indies. The world is now. They got a bigger platform. They're not ready. Like I've seen these got those four men, or even trade those five men, go and and put on phenomenal matches. Like the world they're is not be, ready. They're gonna be the faces of. Hundred percent. Impact yeah. Wrestling's tag yeah. division. Hundred percent. And they. They're amazing. Oh. They're, they're great dudes. Thank you. They um, the Modelo is finally yeah. here. Thank you. <laughs> they're great dudes. They um, yeah. you cheers, know, boys. Thank you cheers. so much for doing this. The Deaners too. Desi, his squad has been getting yep. a lot better. Yep. yep. I was there. I did an episode on the Hammerstein Ballroom show that it's I just, went to. I'm, I'm not Hammerstein. I'm sorry. Melrose, Melrose, Melrose Ballroom, Ballroom yeah. that I went to. Yes. It's just. Uh, oh my God, Rosemary. That oh, was Rosemary's my one awesome. takeaway from that show. Like, I saw a lot of cool stuff. That entrance Amazing. with that song. Yeah, Rosemary's Woo! the best, man. Um, oh, my goodness. Are you guys now starting to become like a full package show? Because I, I will admittedly say I, I hadn't watched a whole full show in a long time. So having the opportunity to sip through live, through the explosion stuff, and just the way that you guys tape, it's a really awesome show to yeah, sit man. through. Like, yes, it's, it's more awesome. of a complete show than it was a long time ago when it's, I was watching it full time. It's because now... The all the chefs got out of that kitchen, right? Not, not only that, but hands. everyone that's that's yeah. on that roster right now is Scott there and Don, to work. Scott and Don everybody changed wants, a lot of stuff yes. and we, we have a really good roster. I everybody everybody's there to work. Everybody comes to work. Nobody goes there to half ass. Nobody no. and that's what's Especially bringing, for the pay per views. And that's what's bringing the morale of the whole company up. Yes. And that's why thankfully people are starting to look at the company more in a positive light because there's a lot of people there that are really putting in awesome work and they're working on, on building. We were, we were some of the first guys to start that. When we look around we rarely, we barely see anybody that we. There's we a handful there of people. With. There's a handful Literally, of people. Literally, maybe so like three, up. four people that we started there with. Yeah. And and everyone is there. Just, well, that's why I was making you know, the, the, the 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 observation before that you guys feel more more like the division than a part of the division 100%. because a lot of these guys are using you as a litmus test even outside of impact when i see you guys perform on indie shows now or yeah. when you travel i mean we got people from other countries going oh fuck yeah we got lax yeah, this man, week yeah. and all kinds of the shit reception. They're, they're sharing your shit for you now but before we was coming out we couldn't get a, yeah, a share yeah, for yeah, shit yeah, yeah, and, awesome. and now they're it's tagging awesome. you guys and all this shit now and it's awesome because it goes back to what we always said when we got into the shit we just want to be the best. Yeah, man. That's it. The best. We want to be one of the best. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And I want people to argue. And we're, <laughs> we're in the argument. That's it. Yeah. If we're in the argument, mission accomplished. Yeah. And people will be like, like don't fuck you. Like the LAX, legacy that, don't fuck you. Yo, yeah. Bucks, don't fuck you. Usos. Yeah. Whatever. As long as they say LAX or Jesus Santana. Like well, the legacy that the, the Hardys and the Dudleys, Edge and Christian. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tag Team Gods. Know, all, all the Tag Team Gods. The Rockers. You're trying to get into the upper, upper echelon. You want to be there. You know what I mean? It must have been like, nice facing them then because you guys oh, have oh, faced yeah. those guys oh, before yeah, in the past. Yeah. Yes. d like, last match. But like that. That after after your man, you guys are popular. You get picked a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> after everything, that's gonna last forever. That you're one of the best, yeah. And you're in the conversation. Yeah. Well, considering that there was an LEX before you, there's an LEX now with you. I will not go that far as to ask you what the future holds for you because I know that's a <laughs> private thing. I will ask this, regardless of what that is. Do you a think there will be an LEX after you, and b would you be in support of that idea? If the legacy, so to speak, was to continue on through someone else, good luck. Will you be? Well, I mean, <laughs> good, good luck. luck. Good to luck. be fair, good luck to you too when you started and I, you guys ended up doing no, yes, it. But so. there was enough of a gap in time. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. Not if, only that, if something were to pop up, uh, let's say right now out of nowhere, I don't think yeah. the fans or anyone would rece received them well. Uh, with time and given time, let's say you know because. 
I, I'm, I'm looking at Santana. He probably got about five more years, and then he wants to chill out and enjoy his money and be on Puerto Rico <laughs> and eat mofongo all day. Yeah, this it's getting don't harder and harder for you to leave that island. Yeah, you, you're on your way back there yeah. tomorrow. Right now, yeah. <laughs> I'm He's, holding him up from rest. Hey, He's about to get on that plane in he, the AM. His body's physically here, but he ain't here. He's, uh, no, still, yeah, he's still yeah. in Puerto Rico right now. I'm bro. surprised he took one bump today. He's yeah. like, listen, I got to get on the beach, bitch. I got things to do. Yeah. Hey, listen, I told you guys I wouldn't keep you. I actually kept you longer than I thought I was going to, but we've been rocking I'm and rolling. I'm sorry to cut you off, but yeah. just want to say, going back to what you, you asked, if, if they do do a reincarnation of LAX and if they do decide to, to you know, bring in new guys and, and continue the brand and continue... Yeah. Uh, whoever whoever those guys are, if it does happen, use the platform to uh, educate, use the platform to encourage, use the platform to uh, continue showing that, again, it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter what you've gone through, it doesn't matter, nothing matters, man. When you work hard at something, it yeah. happens. You know, and, and, and in wrestling, there's not a lot of uh, Latinos at a high peak Doing, yeah. doing what we've been doing, us, the Lucha Bros. Like, we've been holding down the Latino cu culture for the past few years on, yeah. on the scene. On your backs, yeah. yeah. And, and like whoever whoever is going to come and, and take that, use the brand to continue elevating our people, bro. That's Hell yeah. It. But, uh... Good luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck. I'm not. T hey, listen, yeah. I'm not in the know. I don't know yeah, if yeah, they've yeah. got plans. Well, I'm just saying. Well, I will say this. I just asked the question because, A, it's a question I'm sure no one else is going to ask you. Yeah. And, B, I'm 100%. asking because You're the first person to ask I that didn't question. think there'd be a legacy after them. So I can't rule out the idea that 100%. perhaps there might be a legacy after you. But I agree. Good luck following yeah. this act. Because I, I will say that I think internationally you guys did something with the brand that Hernandez and Homicide didn't. I think nationally, they put the Hispanic thing, the culture on, on Front Street. They had great matches, the Styles and yes, Daniel matches, matches and yep. the Motor City Machine Gun matches from back in the day. The you guys, the, the Team 3D, yep. I don't want to get sued. You guys <laughs> did it with a whole nother generation of guys. You're doing it now with that same brand. Around so. the whole world. we've Around the we've, whole world, we've, yeah. We've waved that Puerto Rican flag in Germany, <laughs> Amsterdam, yeah. uh, Mexico, Canada. Soon to be Japan. United States, <laughs> soon to be Japan. Anywhere yeah. we go, we take that flag with us. And, yeah, man. And, and Absolutely. And I mean, people he us. literally wears it over his heart, and I wear my heart on my sleeve. There you go. I, for Absolutely. people that don't know, I have the Puerto Rican flag. Well, what I have sleeve. on my arm, because the next question I'm going to give you guys here, a little LES, LES from back <laughs> in the day. <laughs> when I was a kid, I, growing up in the LES, what I wanted to be was the most famous performer to come out of Lower East Side. I said, I'm going to get into this business. I'm going to be fucking famous. Watch. And now it's impossible because these two niggas came in here. <laughs> and I said it. Now well, I'm not going to edit it out. I have the Avenue D hat. Well, I'm not from the LES. So I know. Got I was like, I just debuted and I had the, the Avenue D scully on. When, yeah. I got, when, I, when I got to, uh, when I went to go visit my grandmother and I saw everybody on the block, bro, the love. Yeah, and, uh, bro, and that to me is is everything. Yeah, I get, if I could get love in my hood and yep. and show that I'm representing. Because I think people, people from around the world sometimes underestimate what that means to guys like us. Because I feel the same way. Mm -hmm. I did not ascend to your level. You know, I I do the show. I did a few shows here and there. You know, I made my rounds. I I got my miles in. Mm -hmm. But when I walk through the old hood and somebody I don't know walk up to me, yo, oh, your CD was good. It might have been, been the pro stuff. It might have been the backyard stuff. I don't know. But the fact that somebody, like I made a mark on somebody like that, 100%. it's huge for me. For you guys, you guys got hundreds and thousands of millions of people around the world looking not, at you not guys. Yet, like, not millions, bro, yeah, if I could buy back yet, Avenue sure. D... From gentrification, bro. <laughs> I would That's do not bring happen. it back to the bodegas and the pastel. You better get some, back, if you better get some back, Donald Trump money bro, for, if to if do I that. Buy back, <laughs> if I could buy back Avenue D, bro, just that that street across from the projects, and just give it back to the people. I'd, I'd die a happy, happy man. This guy is gonna become a landlord, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, what retirement plan. Hey, man. Well, yeah. the music, slumlord. The music's off in here. It looks like they're starting to break <laughs> he, shit down. He's gonna walk in. I am the lord of yeah. the slums. <laughs> I literally worked yeah. all this time just yeah. to buy you bitches. You see this? Why not invest? Why not? Everything invest the your light money? touches 
is now yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, didn't and then I, yeah. I gotta invest your money into But your daddy, what's that over community? there? Portfolios and whatnot. But I was actually literally wrapping up because it looks like we gotta get out of here. But listen, I wanted to take this quick moment, but first of all, to thank you because now the audience can clearly hear me. <laughs> so I wanted to take this time to thank you guys for doing this. I know I just took up all your chill time. That's my bad. No, you good. But um, we're all gonna go home and do the same recreational activity anyway. So. Uh, thank you guys. Congratulations you. on all this success. I've seen you guys. We'll do it again. We can go more in depth. Yeah, I know. I mean, you in particular, Santana, I mean, you were this close, bro. This close. You were one Let phone call and one plane ride away from letting all this go. You wouldn't have been here. And yep. can, thanks, thank God that didn't happen. Don't, like, don't thank God. Thank me. I'm the one that thank kept it. Thank <laughs> me. <laughs> you know how many times? Well, they thank MP. God. Isn't it the same thing as thinking? No, 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 no. I don't have a God complex. I don't. Cheers. No, yeah, thank, thank, thank our Lord and Savior, one. but uh, for so, sure, man, there, there was plenty of times, but uh, man, we stuck through it, and uh, I, the, the, the key to life is consistency, and we stood consistent, and it paid off. Consistency well, is key. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to you guys. Been shaking thank hands you, man, now. Man. There's no video. Thank Thanks thank for you. taking the time to do this. Yeah. Hopefully this whole audio thing works out. But <laughs> I got oh, a 100th yeah. episode. You guys are heading overseas. So thank you guys. You're heading back to Puerto Rico tomorrow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I yeah. have work tomorrow, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. That is Orsini signing off here from uh, the hashtag 5150. I got Pinky Sanchez here in the corner giving me dap. And now uh, we'll see you guys later on. Welcome to our daddy show. This is Ocean Sense's mine. If you listen to my daddy show, he should wear my me toys. He's a good daddy.